Hello friends! Hello everyone! My name is Haley. I'm an early childhood educator with Early On at Luminous Community Services. Today I'm here to make super cool slime with you. I'm sure you have all the ingredients at home and if you don't, don't worry, I have three cool recipes for you. I'm going to start with my favorite, favorite, favorite slime recipe that's made with school glue. So for this slime, you're going to need one cup of white school glue. You're also going to need one teaspoon of baking soda, one tablespoon of contact lens solution, food coloring, and I also have shaving cream here. It's optional. If you like to make your slime puffy, you can add a little bit of shaving cream. So let's get to it and let's make some awesome slime together. All right, friends, let's begin. So I'm going to first start with my most important ingredient, which is the school glue. I'm going to add my school glue to the bowl. That's one cup of school glue. I'm gonna make sure I get all my glue inside the bowl. For my second ingredient, I'm going to go with one teaspoon of baking soda. And I'm going to add that to my bowl. And try and mix this all together. Going to mix it well with the glue. And now it's time for my favorite ingredient, which is food coloring. I'm going to add a few drops of pink food coloring to my slime. You can add any color that you like to your slime or something that you have at home. I'm going to add a little bit of pink. And mix it really, really well. starting to look a lot like my unicorn and my watermelon. Now there is a very important ingredient in slime that makes slime the way it's stretchy and you can pull it and ooze it and stretch it. The most important ingredient in slime is actually the contact lens solution that I will be adding soon to this nice pink mixture okay so I'm going to add I'm gonna get my measuring spoon of one tablespoon and I'm going to add one full tablespoon of contact lens solution you may need more later on so you can add it as you go but first we're going to start with one full tablespoon of contact lens solution and then I'm going to keep mixing it together and as you can see my slime is instantly changing and it's turning into a stretchier version of what it was before now if I see that it's super duper stretchy and it's still sticking to my hands then I will add um, more contact lens solution so at this stage you're gonna want to mix it really really well until it's ready to be touched by your hands I'm going to test it before I put my hands in there I'm going to test it with my fingers to see how stretchy it is it's quite well mixed I might want to add a couple more drops of contact lens solution so that I can pick it out of the bowl so I'm going to add a couple more drops and just play with the slime as you can 
see the slime is no longer sticking to the counter or my fingers and it's actually a very very nice texture If the slime ever sticks to your clothes or your counter in the process of creating it, you can use vinegar to clean it up. So friends, remember how I said you can add shaving cream to this beautiful stretchy slime to make it puffy? Let's go ahead and do that. But don't forget to shake, 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 shake your shaving cream before you actually add it to your slime. Uh, it's a little bit too much, but that's okay. We can mix it in with our stretchy slime. Parents, if you'd like, you can actually get non-toxic and uh, unscented shaving cream for children, uh, if that's what you prefer. So we're going to keep mixing this shaving cream with our slime and it's going to make a very nice cloudy and puffy texture in our slime. It's no longer stretching and sticking to surfaces. It's actually very, very puffy and cool to the touch, but less sticky actually. That's how you make puppy slime with shaving cream. Now friends, are you ready to make some cool, spooky Halloween slime together? Let's do this! For this slime, you're going to need half a cup of cornstarch and another simple ingredient is just a little bit of hair conditioner, maybe around one fourth of a cup should be enough. So we're going to mix these two ingredients together and see what kind of spooky slime we can make. So I'm going to start by adding my um, cornstarch to the bowl and in this recipe I put one cup of cornstarch in that bowl but um, it makes a lot of stretchy slime so please just stick to your half a cup. Now I'm going to add my hair conditioner. In this video I put one cup of hair conditioner which you will see as a lot of hair conditioner. So. I will have to keep adding cornstarch to make it work. So um, friends, I recommend you stick with the first recipe, which is again half a cup of cornstarch and one fourth of a cup of um, hair conditioner. So I'm going to go ahead and mix these two ingredients together really well. As you can see, I had to add a lot of um, cornstarch to make this recipe work. But if you stick with the recipe that we talked about earlier, you should be able to make really cool slime. So as you can see, um, the recipe worked and now I have really nice and smooth um, and stretchy slime. It's a little bit different from our traditional glue slime. It doesn't stretch and ooze as much, but it's actually um, quite a interesting texture. Um, and you can do a lot of cool things with this. So get creative and let's see what you can make with your cool slime. Friends, 
I hope you enjoyed making uh, glue and non-glue slime with me. Uh, the last uh, recipe that I'd like to make with you today is actually made with uh, blue tack. It's something that's used to stick paper or other things to the wall. Um, I recommend this for older children and not younger ones that may put it in their mouth. So this is probably for children three years and up. So if you like to make this slime with me, all you need is actually blue tack and some hand soap. I'm going to use a non-toxic hand soap for this recipe. I'm just going to pump uh, a little bit into a bowl and put my soap aside. And I'm going to just start with one strip of blue tack. So I'm going to take my one strip and start working with it. So I'm just going to stretch this blue tack and make it warm with my hands. And the warmer it gets from my body temperature, the stretchier it gets. So I'm just going to work with this super stretchy um, blue tack until it's nice and soft. I'm just going to take my blue tack and just dip it in soap a little bit, just like that. And I'm just going to keep working with it and keep stretching it. But I don't want to put too much soap because it will make my blue tack uh, sticky and we don't want it to stick to our hands. So keep working with the blue tack. For this recipe, um, uh, you may also use food coloring. Uh, I'm not going to use food coloring because my tack is already blue, but some of these come in white. So if you like, you can um, put on some gloves and actually add some food coloring to your tack. It looks like mine could use a little bit of more soap. So I'm just going to dip it in soap one last time. And just work with it until it's a little bit more stretchy. Um, blue tack slime is ready. It's uh, quite stretchy and it makes cool, um, actually spider web looking um, shapes. You can get creative, you can do many things with this tag, but I just love the texture that it's uh, made. Uh, this is because I added a lot of soap to mine. If you don't want yours to, to stretch like that, I wouldn't add that much soap. Oh.